Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so super excited because I'm collaborating with a company by the name of Home Chef to bring to you guys three different meal choices that you can prepare for your family in under 30 minutes or at least 30 minutes. Now, um, the company Home Chef is a home delivery food service where you can go on their website and choose from up to 18 different meal options of meals that can be prepared in 30 minutes or less um, with fresh ingredients with easy step-by-step -step instructions. So, you know guys, I thought this is perfect. Um, as a working mom with um, trying to take care of family and home and everything, it's always great to have meal options that can be um, prepared quickly and easy and also to be delivered right to your home so you don't have to worry about running to the grocery store and everything. So I thought this was perfect. So this video is sponsored by Home Chef. So I would encourage you guys to be sure to check out my description box down below to click on their link. And also, if you enter in discount code KENYA30, you will get $30 off of your first meal kit. So that is amazing, right? So convenient and you get a discount. So who can beat that? So yeah, so I will have all that information down in my description box below. So be sure to check that out. And as you can see, I have my Home Chef box here, so I'm ready to open it up and get cooking. So let's get this box open. Okay, so let me see if you guys can see how this is packaged. It's all wrapped up nice and neatly. And there's some there's a coupon that comes in it here, $15 off, your, $15 off your next order. And these are the recipes of the items that I purchased or that I got here. So this is the steak. And this one, let's turn around this way. This is the Japanese steak bento bowl. And this is the breaded Italian chicken looks delicious and this is the scallop scampi so these all look like delicious meals that's why I selected them so these are items that I think my family will enjoy and that I'm going to enjoy sharing with you all so yeah these are little recipe cards now and what I think is cool about these recipe cards is that it tells you exactly Everything that you need is in the box to create this meal. And it has all the directions and everything on the back here. So, let's see. So everything is on ice and it's cold. So, as you can see, it comes packaged like so. So this is really good. This is really convenient, like everything is right here. This is the um, steaks. So this is the package for the steaks. And this is the package for the scallop scampi. This is for the Italian braided chicken. And this is the Japanese bento bowl. All the items there. Everything looks really fresh. Flour. That's to go with, I think, the steak. And then, let's see here. Everything is under these little ice packets. Like this. Everything is packed in ice like that. And so, here is the steak. And my scallops. So all of my proteins are in this package. And 
Let's see here. I think that is it. Yeah, the rest of these are just ice packs. That is it. So now all I need to do is get my meals going. Let's put all this to the side. Okay guys, so for our first recipe, we're going to be making the scallop scampi. And so I, I read over the instruction card and it said um, everything that I need is in the package, but I will also need salt and pepper and some olive oil. So I have those extra ingredients there. And for step one, it says uh, cook your pasta by boiling water and you know, of course adding your pasta in. And so my water is already boiling and so I'm gonna go ahead and move to step two, which is prepare the ingredients by mincing the garlic and peeling the shallots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will be back. Okay guys, so I have minced my scallions and my garlic and I have rinsed off my scallops and I'm gonna just um, dry them a little bit and then go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper to them and then we will be ready to put them on to cook. So I just have them placed on a napkin and I'm just drying them off and now I'm gonna go ahead and season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Moving to the next step. Right, spaghetti into the boiling water. And I'm just letting my oil, I've added the two tablespoons of olive oil in my pan here, so I'm just waiting for that to get hot so I can start my salad. tablespoons of olive oil for my scallions and garlic. So that's my two tablespoons. Um, my scallops are nice and golden brown. And let's add these ingredients here to the oil. Now I'm adding the white wine cooking oil, or cooking wine, white cooking wine. So I'll just add that there. Now I'm going to add one fourth cup of the um, this is the water that was on the pasta. So when I drained the pasta, I just kept a little bit to the side. And also I'm adding this light cream 
So we'll just pour that in there. Now I'm adding my pasta to the mixture. I have my peas that came in the packet. So I add those. And I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna keep a little bit to garnish on top. And now I will add in my scallops. And I'm going to give everything a good stir. And we're almost done. Okay, this is all done now. It looks delicious and I'm about to plate it up and show you guys how it looked plated. Okay guys, so here is my final dish and I'm gonna add a little bit of the grated Parmesan on top. I've also added already a little bit of salt and pepper on top, so now we'll just add a little bit of Parmesan and mm, that looks so delicious. So that is my scallop scampi. Now let's move on to our next dish. So next I'm going to be making this Japanese steak bento bowl and so yeah here are my ingredients. I have my meat and then everything is in here. The carrots, broccoli, rice, peanuts, everything is here. So I'm going to rinse off the veggies and rinse off my meat and prep everything and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have my uh, veggies cut up and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the beef strips. And so then I will go ahead and add these to the pan. Okay. Okay guys, so I have um, two tablespoons of oil in my pan and I have one and a half cups of water in my little pot over there and I'm going to now add this jasmine rice to that water. Now I'm adding the two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to add my veggies. Now I'm using the same pan that I did my meat in. And yeah, I just took the meat out. I didn't clean off the pan because the recipe says it's not necessary. 
So just add those in. And I'm gonna cook these for a bit until they soften and then I'll be back. I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper. And these are just about ready. And we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, to finish off, I'm gonna add, this is one ounce of mirin. And I'm going to add my steak back. My rice is ready over there. So I'm gonna give this all a good stir and then I'll come back when I combine everything together to plate. I'm just trying to make sure everything is covered with the sauce. Okay, so now we will plate. Okay guys, and here is the finished dish. I have my jasmine rice with my uh, steak strips, broccoli, and carrots. And I have some chopped peanuts here. I didn't, the recipe calls to add it to your meal all together but I didn't do that because my little guy is allergic to peanuts and so we're going to just add it to our individual bowls and also it includes red pepper flakes but I won't be adding that either because I'm not really I don't really want red pepper flakes but at any rate this is dish two quick easy and so delicious looking can't wait to give this a try now let's move on to dish number three Okay guys, and for this third meal, we're going to be making this breaded Italian chicken. If you guys can see that there. And so, I have all the ingredients laid out here that I'll use for this meal. And so I'm going to go ahead and chop up my cauliflower, rinse off my meat, and get everything prepared, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so the recipe says to rough chop the cauliflower so I, as you can see I've already cut it um, into bits and so I just wanted to show you guys how I would rough chop it so I'm just cutting it into you know fourths and however and then I'm trying to cut out the stem as much as possible and I'm just tossing these over there because I throw that all in the trash in a bit okay so that is my cauliflower rough chopped and so, now I'm going to get this on. Okay guys, as you can see, I have my cauliflower back there boiling in one and a half cups of water. And now I'm adding one tablespoon of olive oil again. And let me turn this one on. I'm going to add the nuts to this one. Okay guys, I'm going to pour the panko crumbs in here with the oil. And I'm going to just brown this, cook this until it's brown. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here are my panko crumbs that I just browned. And so I'm going to add a little a little bit of Parmesan cheese to it and I'm going to save the rest of this for my cauliflower. Add some there and then I'm going to add in some of the minced parsley and I'll keep a little bit of this also to garnish at the end and 
So now, I'm just gonna mix this all together real quick. And then sit this to the side. And now I'm going to go ahead and brown my chicken. So I have the breadcrumbs ready. So I'll leave this there. Now let's get the chicken going. Okay, I've just added two tablespoons of olive oil to my pan and now I'm checking my cauliflower and I am going to let this cook until all the water has evaporated. And we're almost there, but there's still a little bit of water there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So there's still water, so I'm gonna let this go for a few more minutes. let that go for a few more minutes and while this is getting hot I'm going to add my chicken and I have to say guys um, the recipe does not call to add salt and pepper to the chicken but I was so tempted to add it but I'm not I'm just gonna follow the recipe my cauliflower is ready and my chicken is ready the recipe said to allow it to cook on one side for four to five minutes and then transfer it to another pan where I'll put it in the oven so I've let it cook and so now it says to flip it over and place it into the other pan so that's what I'm gonna do Okay, now I'm gonna to top it with the marinara sauce. Let's turn this off, there we go. So now I'm going to top this pan, top the chicken with the marinara sauce. So I can get it to stay still. Hmm. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. I've already had my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and so it's ready. And so I'm going to place this in the oven and let it cook for another 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. Now let's put this in the oven. Okay guys, so I've taken the cauliflower off of the heat. And as you can see, all the water has evaporated. So now I'm just kind of stirring it up. This is supposed to be like cauliflower grits is what they're calling it. So I'm kind of smashing them up a little bit. And then I'm going to add in this sour cream packets that they have and the rest of the Parmesan cheese. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mash this up and add the ingredients and then I will be back. I'm gonna save a little bit of this to add to the top. But I'm gonna put the majority of it in. Okay guys, so I just took the chicken out of the oven. It's been in there for um, and actually the recipe said for eight to 10 minutes, but I left it in there for about 15 minutes. And so now I'm just adding the panko crumbs on top. And then I'll put this back in the oven for a few more minutes for this all to just kind of brown up. And then we'll be ready to plate. 
As you can see, some of the tomatoes kind of fell off a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, that is all the topping and so now I will put this back in the oven for about two to three minutes and then we'll be ready to plate. Okay guys, and here is the finished dish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese right on top. This looks so delicious. I'm adding a little bit more to the um, cauliflower also, which is, they're calling it cauliflower grits. I, I'm thinking it, I taste it, it tastes so good. But it kind of reminds me of like a mash. So maybe like cauliflower mashed potatoes. But at any rate, so this is the picture of it, the breaded Italian chicken with cauliflower mash. Oh, okay, so it is called cauliflower mash. <laughs> um, so this is their picture, and here is my plate. So I think it looks really yummy and a lot like um, their look. So, okay guys, that is our third dishes. Now I'm gonna put each plate together, and then we'll give them a try. Okay, and here are the three dishes plated. And I think each of them looks really good, and so I'm excited to give them a try. Okay guys, so now let's go ahead and give this food a try. So I have each um, recipe that I cooked here, and so I was just looking, I have my fork, but I don't have my knife, and I have some water. So, let me see, oh here's my knife right here. Okay, so let's start with the bento bowl, the, um, Let's see, I have a little recipe card here. The Japanese steak bento bowl. So let's give this a try. It's really tasty. That is really good. So I have to say, number one, I love jasmine rice. So anything with jasmine rice, I'm probably gonna really like it. <laughs> but it's really good. The um, carrots are real, cooked really tender, but with a little bite to it, a little bit of crunch. Um, the broccoli, I think I might have gone a little over on that, but it's still good. Now we'll try the scallop scampi. The scallop scampi. So it did come with all of the ingredients to it. So, um, let's give this a try. I'm just gonna cut a little bite here. I will say, um, I, I cooked this one first, and so my husband did try this one already, and he liked it a lot. And my little guy liked it, he said it was okay. <laughs> um, I think it's tasty. I think he just said it was okay because he's probably not used to eating scallops. And so, but yeah. Otherwise, it, they liked it, so let's give it a try. That's really good. Really, really good. One thing about this one is that my husband did say it needed a little bit more salt. So, I mean, that you can season to taste with that. Really tasty dish. So far, I would definitely buy both of these two again. Now let's try the last dish, which is the Breaded Italian chicken. Let's give this a try. Okay, let's see here. First, I already tried the um, called mashed cauliflowers. When I cooked them, they tasted delicious. I knew those were gonna be really yummy. Really, really tasty. Now let's taste this chicken. The chicken is really good too. I love the crunch of the panko crumbs. 
It really adds a nice texture. And um, of course I can taste the tomatoes. You guys know I love tomatoes. <laughs> so, yeah. This dish is really yummy. It's a really hearty dish. I like this one. I have to say, if I had to choose one, I like all of them, but if I had to choose one, I probably would go with the bento bowl because I love the richness of the flavors, minus even though it was missing the sauce, it was still really yummy, and I like jasmine rice. Second would be this chicken. Um, although this is a great Sunday meal, these two, the other two, are like meals that I've cooked during the week, and then the Italian chicken is something that I would probably cook on a Sunday. But anyway, everything was really good. All the ingredients were very fresh. The recipes were so easy to follow. And as you can see, I showed you guys throughout the video after I completed each dish how the picture looked and how my picture, how my dish came out, and they came out almost exact. So it looks, it was really easy to do this, guys. Really simple and easy. So. With that being said, I'm ready to go ahead and have dinner, and I'm gonna prepare dinner for my family. So I will go ahead and end now by saying thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope that you've enjoyed this video enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button, and also be sure to go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you will receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. And for my faithful family members, you guys know the deal. I love you so much. I really appreciate all of your support. It truly, truly, truly does mean so much to me. And um, I will remind you guys to be sure to click the description, check down in my description box to click the link to Home Chef if you're interested in giving any of these meals a try and to redeem your $30 off your first meal kit by using the uh, promo code Kenya30. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.